Hi everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing Real Housewives of Atlanta Season 8, The Finale, which I'm going to entitle, Who Called the Fed? So that was basically the topic of the evening, Who Called the Feds on Candy and Cynthia. So we have uh, Fedra and Dwight. Fedra, she's trying to have her one of her fabulous outlandish parties. And who else other to call than Dwight? You know when she had her baby shower, they had people, uh, she had them white big old balls in her head. They had ballerinas dancing. When she had her, um, what was the oldest one named Aiden when they had his birthday, they drove like two hours out of the way, had like 12 cakes. The other baby's birthday, they had like a presidential theme. So y'all know they are known for doing these outlandish parties. So it's Christmas time. So me, I'm thinking, Lord Pedro, please do not go somewhere and get actual reindeer, get a snow machine. Because you know they like to do certain things like that. So Dwight was like, girl, I got you. You know me and you, we like here. You know, we right here with everything. When we come to parties, we're going to throw this thing out. So Portia comes over, her and Fedra talking, and y'all know she worked for Dish Nation. So I guess she figures, no, let me get a scoop on what's going on. So she's like, um, we got a little tip today that the feds went over to Candy's house. Would you like to comment on that? And Kent Fedra's like, oh, wow, they coming over there? Like, really? And it's been word that they went over to Cynthia's house as well. I'm not going to get into my opinion on that into the um, end of the, um, this little review because I have a lot to say about that. So let's get on to the next topic. So we have Kenya and Matt. Now y'all know Kenya, she loved her dog Velvet, but Velvet went on and no left this world not a few years ago. So Matt being, I guess, considered what he is, he got her twin puppies. You know, she knew about him for a while, but she couldn't take him home because they was, like, newborn. So, she names them King and Twirl. Y'all know that is her favorite word. Favorite word. That is her favorite thing to do in the world is twirl besides throwing shade and gossiping. So, she decides to put her two cents in on this whole situation. And she believes wholeheartedly that Fedra had something to do with the feds going to Candy's house. Because she was like, I don't know what kind of hood stuff that is when you send feds to people's house. But it could be like the feds came and knock on, on the door and you don't want to go to jail. So you tell it. But people consider that snitching. But like I think that people are always complaining about don't snitching. Probably be the one that's snitching the most. Now, if you were one of the people who don't snitch, forgive me, but it's like, when did this become a thing not telling on somebody? I guess they always had this dope tattletale, but like, if you know somebody then shot and killed somebody, and there's a good possibility they're going to do it again, wouldn't you want to like spare the next person's life? That's what I'm just saying about this whole section thing. Then we got Cynthia and Peter. She's trying to get all romantical with her man because y'all know at the beginning of the season when he was caressing on women's chest and whatnot that she wasn't too happy with him. And then she he got into it at her little hour lunch party. So they've had their difficulties. But since they've been back from Jamaica, everybody, everything has been going good. So she decides she's going to be a masseuse for, for Peter. Couldn't even get that name out. Forgive me, y'all. She gonna be his personal masseuse. She didn't got the massage table out. She got a massage y'all for the old Peter come home and ready. He gets wants to get full on naked, and I'm like Peter, no, don't do that. We don't need to see that. Just don't. It's, it it was weird seeing them two together. I don't know why, but you know they get the massage, and then she get the crawling on the table. And Noel and Leon walk by. And she's like, oh, snap. I thought Noel was, like, gone, like, an hour ago. I'm like, did you not hear them upstairs? Like, what is really going on? Like, they, like, walk by. Noel's laughing. Like, I can't believe y'all are in the kitchen trying to get busy while me and my daddy are upstairs. And we finna leave. Like, did she not hear Noel, like, walk out the door? I'm just confused about certain things. So then we got Portia. Portia, y'all know she want to have a baby, and she wants to have a baby even more now since her sister Lauren is pregnant. So, she goes to the doctors because she was, she's previously had fibroids. I guess when she was pregnant with Cordell, she had fibroids and she miscarried. And that was like, the, like, recovery from fibroids was like something out of this world that she wouldn't wish it on anybody. 
So she's like, okay, if this is happening again, I don't know what I want to do. But the doctor said, yes, you have fibroids, but they're sizable walnut. They're not really going to prevent you from getting pregnant this time. You know, I had my first baby at 38, my second at 42. I'm like, but then again, you know, you greater chance of, you know, having, you know, multiple births and something being wrong with the baby if i'm wrong i've heard that before from different medical people so if i'm wrong correct me but i'm assuming she said if i did it and i'm a medical profession like you can do it too <clears throat> so let's get on over here to this party oh yeah we had todd and um candy they go over to his mom's grave site and like I loved his mom. She was like so down to earth and cool. And she was like one of the people like, I'm just going to be happy and live my life because one of these days I'm going to be gone. And where I need to sit around here and be mad at the world for, I'm just going to chill and party and just have a good time while I can. Candace, like she would have loved if, you know, this, um, Sharon would have loved it to see her grandbaby and now Joy, she's all happy. Like, yes, this baby is the bridge that, you know, you know, bridge that's together, but it could be one of those. I feel really bad that I talked about your mama and your dad like a dog, and now they both gone home with that situation. But, like, Todd, he didn't really break down like Candy thought he was going to break down. But she's like, either way, she's there for her man. But she just wished, you know, her mother in law could have been there to see the baby born. So, we're going to move over to the party. So, like I said, it's a winter theme and everything. And I look up and I was like, are we having like a crossover like episode with Lifetime? Because I was like, is that Miss Juicy from the um, Little Women Atlanta? And I was like, it sure is. She got her there as an elephant. Uh, uh, as an elf, not an elephant. But I don't know why I feel some kind of way. Like, she's a little person and y'all got her here as an elf. I guess if she didn't have no problem with it, I shouldn't have a problem with it. But I don't know. I, ain't, I felt some type of way about it. We got eight and he's like, um... The little sneaky elf, uh, elf on the shelf. That's what it's called. He's up for his elf on the shelf. He gonna either give you a present or a piece of code. People come in. We got Tammy there. And we ain't seen Tammy since she done got knocked out by her nephew. And taken to the hospital. And then showing back up at like 3 o'clock in the morning looking all discombobulated. But anyway, she's there. And Fed, uh, not Fed, but Sheree at the corner of her eye sees Bob and Tammy talking. But you know her and Bob trying to get back together. So she like, let me go over there and see what that trim got to say. She didn't say that, but I'm paraphrasing. So she's like, oh, so they had this whole conversation about did you or did you not sleep with Tammy or did you or did you not kiss Tammy? Did you or did you not say any of these things? And Tammy looking at uh, Bob like, don't be looking at me with that bad eye. Yo, tell the truth. He over there, um, mm, uh, he, uh, uh, he didn't made up his own language because he don't know what to say. Tammy's like, I ain't never slept with that man, don't want to sleep with that man, him or his raggedy eye. I'm out. So now it's Sheree's turn to talk to Bob. And Bob's like, you know what, I did a lot of things in my past that I'm not proud of. But, you know, don't, you know, put that on me now. Let me come in as a new person, you know. Don't punish me as the Bob I was with you years ago. You know, look at me as the Bob I am today. And I don't know why I like this Bob and Sheree together. Them fussing and cussing and cutting up several foods I wasn't really here for. But they seem to be getting along better. So I'm happy about that. We got Nene coming in. She looking at Miss Juicy like, girl, you know you're acting stupid. Let me go over here and mingle. Her and Candy get to talking and... Me, Nene's like, you know what? We have always bumped heads, and I'm on. A, I'm trying to turn over a new leaf. I'm happy. I am fabulous. I'm just doing well. I know we like oil and water. We both strong, opinionated women that love to fuss and cuss. But why don't we just put all that behind us and you know be friends again? I sent you a baby gift, and you know I'm known for sending fabulous baby gift. Kim's like, girl, yeah, you do. You know, for sending fabulous baby gifts. So, baby, we can, you know, just become friends again and put all that stuff behind us. Then we got Candy. Not Candy. What is her name? I'm messing up everybody's name. We got Kenya. She coming in as the Grinch. Now, at first when I see her, I'm like, why is she in the Grinch suit? But it was like a Christmas theme party. We had, what's her name? Portia and her friend looking like... I don't know what they had some like giddy girl shorts on, some short, short shorts. 
um, being Portia, basically. I was like, I guess this is a winter party. Bob is just Santa Claus. How come um, Kenya can't be, you know, the Grinch? And can somebody tell me? Now, I'm not trying to be mean. Not trying to be shady. But why does Matt always have this confused look on his face? He's always... Like, what's going on? Don't know what to do. What is that over there? He always has this confused look on his face. And I'm trying to figure out why. So now, we got to ask ourselves, who sent the feds? So, like I said earlier, Kenya already has her idea who sent the feds over to Candy's house and over to you know, Cynthia's house. So, when, you know, Feds, or she hears her name, she's like, what's going on? She's like, uh, we talk about the Feds going over to, you know, Candy's house and Cynthia's house and whether you did it or not. And she's like, oh, wow, like, I can't believe it happening. Now, I don't know if she did it, and here's why. Y'all know when the this season 8 first started, it was mentioned that Apollo's bike was over at Candy's house. And I'm assuming since the feds know, hey, Fedra is on a reality show. At one point, these bikes are possibly going to show up. And they might talk about it and we can find out where we can get these bikes so we can pay off his restitution that he owes. It could have been that. They've talked about this multiple times on this season. The feds could have just been like, okay, they said it was over at Candy's house. Let's just go over to Candy's house with a warrant. And Candy, she didn't appreciate it because she's trying to decorate her nursery. And they thinking that she's trying to die go and um, take out Apollo stuff. He's like, I'm going to need y'all to get out my driveway. I'm trying to get baby stuff in here. I'm like eight and a half months pregnant. I'm ready to go at any minute. I'm going to need y'all to get up out of here. But I don't know truthfully if Fedra had anything to do with the feds going over there now her re the way she's reacted may have been like yeah i did i just don't want to show y'all my poker face at this moment but then if she did do it would she be wrong for doing it if the feds came to her door and were like we are here to find out where apollo stuff is or you could be going to jail because you're obstructing justice because Apollo owes his money to A, B, and C people. We need to get that stuff back. And Phaedra's like, well, he had some stuff over Candy's house. Would that be wrong? Because it's not like it was Candy's stuff that she was telling on. It was Apollo's stuff that he was hiding. And I don't know why Candy, Todd, Cynthia, and Peter were allowing Ty, um, F Apollo to have stuff that he used with stolen money at their house. That didn't make sense at all. Like, y'all are business people. Kenny, I don't know what you was thinking now. Allowing this man who done defrauded people keep stuff that he used that money that he defrauded at your house. Like me, I've been like, uh uh, you ain't keeping that doggone stuff when you use with stolen money over my house. Mm mm, you gonna have to find go back and get you a storage or something. You not bringing it over here. And I don't know why, what was Apollo, Apollo thinking like they wasn't gonna go looking for his stuff? Like they was gonna go over Fedra's house and we're like, Fedra, we looking at for this four wheel bike, this motorcycle, this Jeep. Do you have it here? And she's gonna be like, nope. And it was like, okay, well, we've done our business. So we're gonna leave. You have a good day now, Fedra. You told us all you can tell us. So, you know, have a blessed day. You know, take your kids and see Apollo try to find out what you can and we'll be on our merry way i just don't see that happening so that was basically how the show ended like i said it was a whole bunch of who called the feds and everybody putting their two cents on who actually called the feds at the end they were saying how todd and Katie, they named their baby ace wells tucker wills was miss sharon's last name Portia, she's doing her life, living her, trying to have babies or something like that. I wasn't really paying attention. Cynthia, she's on a bigger and better things. Phaedra, she's ready to start dating again, but she's not ready to go public until after her divorce. So that tells us she got a man. She just ain't flaunting him in front of everybody. Who else? Kenya, her, you know, more manner is still not together. But one of the rooms that she's de decorating was, you know, being, like, gossip that it's a nursery. But, you know, it didn't seem like 
an end of a season episode to me. So that was the gist of went on. If I left anything out, by all means, leave a comment or hear your spot. So, like always, I want to thank my subscribers and the people watching my videos. I want you to like this video, comment, and subscribe, and share this video with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and here on YouTube. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.